I want to share with you real quickly three ways to accelerate this asking phase. There's ask, believe, receive. Okay, so let's look at asking for just a little bit longer. In asking, three things that are really useful I found. Number one, it's called the irritation list. Walk through your home, your business, your apartment, your condo, anything you're in charge of, and make a list of all the things that aren't exactly the way you want it. There's never a stapler by the Xerox machine. Someone always leaves that cabinet open. My kid never picks up after himself. Those pictures are always slanted. They never stay straight. The screen door slams. There's a hole in the window. You know, whatever it is, write it down. And then go back, and here's the key part. Remember in Law of Attraction, we always focus on what you want, not what you don't want. You don't want to be going, I don't want a man who smokes. I don't want a man who watches TV all weekend. I don't want a man who, you know, because that's what you're going to get. All right, because what you focus on is what you attract. So you want to focus on the opposite. So what you want to focus on is the opposite of your irritation list. There'll be, always be a stapler by the Xerox machine. We solve that in our office with a little chain and some glue. <laughs> it, it doesn't leave, okay? Um, but the key is there's always solutions. The pictures that won't stay straight, Velcro, right to the wall, <laughs> on the bottom. It works, you know. But the point is, you want to get a list of what's the outcome you want. And then take a day, hire, hire a person or you know, bring a friend over, and go through the list and get as many done as you can. You know, all the easy ones. Build some momentum. Clean the garage, develop a new filing system. That might be something you, you know, set off to another weekend. And we say all the big ones that are really big, do one a quarter every three months, solve one of those. Now you're getting rid of all the stuff in your life. And why is this so important? We're talking mostly about being wealthy, having great relationships, great health, world peace, ending hunger, and you're talking about the screen door. <laughs> when you don't fix the screen door, you settle. And when you settle consistently, you develop a habit of settling for what you don't want. And most people go through life in resignation. They have resigned themselves to not having it the way they want it. The second thing is what we call the 101 goals list. Make a list of 101 things you want to achieve before you die. Now, I was sharing this with someone last night, and they said, God, that just seems like a really big task. I'm a single mom. I don't have any time. When am I going to do that? <laughs> we know that one of the things about high achievers is they all have goals. Only 10% of Americans set goals every year. 10%. I can go to sales conferences. People that are that learn this stuff hear it over and over. How many? 10%. We also know the same 3 to 10% control 90% of the resources of the world. So literally, without goals, you're directionless. You will be used. See, people without goals get used by other people who have them. People that don't have goals work for people who do. And so you want to be someone who picks up and gets clear about what you want. Make a list, 101 goals. I want to go to Paris. I want to you know, skydive. I want to bungee cord jump. I want to play the guitar. I want to learn to juggle. I want to learn two magic tricks for the kids. I want to go to the Olympics in Beijing. Whatever it is, make the list. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff under there that you've kind of put down that you want. And you can have anything you want. The last thing with this is what we call the vision exercise. And there are seven categories to the vision exercise. Number one has to do with finance. So we're saying to you, we're going to look at seven areas of your life for total abundance. So what do you want financially? How much money do you want to earn? How much uh, profit do you want in your business? What do you want your retirement fund to hold when you retire? What are your goals? And a lot of people don't even have them. The average American retires with $25,000 net worth. That's sad. Wow. That is really sad. Think about that. Okay. Number two, career and job. What do you want in your career and job? Maybe you want to be the regional sales manager. Maybe you want to open up the office in Hong Kong. Maybe you want to get a, an award for you know, being the, the best uh, speaker in your speaking business. Whatever it might be, what are your career and job goals? Okay? The third area has to do with relationships. Most people have goals for job and for money, but do you have relationship goals? How many new friends do you want to make this year? Do you want to heal your relationship with your daughter? Do you want to have a better sex life and more intimacy with your spouse? Do you want to connect with your parents who maybe you've been estranged to or your sister? What are your relationship goals each year? What are your health and fitness goals? Most of you don't know your cholesterol level, don't have a cholesterol level goal. You probably know what your weight is. We're obsessed with that. But what, what weight would you like to have? Goals. Every year, set how many vacation days you want to take. If you want to double your time off, make that a goal. You need time to recreate yourself. That's what recreation means. Personal. Personal is personal growth and emotional growth, spiritual growth, things like that. And what are your goals there? And then lastly, contribution. What contribution do you want to make to the world? What legacy do you want to live? Volunteer time, philanthropy, making a difference, ending hunger, whatever it might be. 
And that's an important one that most people don't think that much about. But I'll tell you, I've spent a lot of time with billionaires who have everything you think you'd ever want and they're still unhappy. And one of the people I met with was worth about $500 million. And he said his life went through four stages. The first stage, he said, was called stuff. He figured if he had lots of stuff, he'd be happy. He had lots of stuff, cars, boats, planes, wasn't happy. He said, I guess I'd need uh, better stuff. So he got better stuff, <laughs> right? A better plane, a better house, a better whatever. Still wasn't happy. And he said, maybe I've got the wrong stuff. <laughs> yep, I own a football team, maybe that would make me happy. Still wasn't happy. And then he went into the fourth phase of his life unexpectedly. A friend asked him to come with him to give out some wheelchairs to kids who'd lost their legs and landmines and stuff in Bosnia and Croatia. So he flies over and they're putting kids in wheelchairs. And one of the kids in one of his visits, he put him in a wheelchair, 11-year-old boy, and he turned away and the kid wouldn't let go of his leg. And he turned back and through an interpreter, the boy said, don't leave yet. He said, I want to memorize your face. He says, because when we meet again in heaven, I want to be able to say thank you one more time. <laughs> and he said, that was the first time in my life I felt pure joy. See, and the pure joy comes from giving. Giving that which you think you want to receive. And then it comes back, we always hear the word multiplied. And it truly does. The next step is to be clear about how much you want and by when you want it. What are the specific goals? You can have a dream like, uh, you know, I'd like to have more time with my wife. Well, we'll take three long weekend vacations by October 31st. So always take it and make it as specific as you can. You might have a weight goal. I want to lose weight. Well, that could be I'll weigh 135 pounds by June 30th or I'll run a marathon by this date. So get as specific as you can. If you're clear about the what it is you want, the how will show up. This is one of the important parts of law of attraction. You don't have to know the how. You just have to be clear about what it is you want. If you're clear about what you want, your subconscious internally and externally, what we call source, the universe, the quantum field, infinite intelligence, God will also figure out. So you've got two parts working together to create the pathway. It's not important that you see the whole way. 